Chapter 81 The reinforcement arrives 4K. The process of Lot's inspection of the army was of course extremely smooth. The army led by the two of the Ma elite soldiers who have experienced and previously fought with Udegung. Many of them came from Orkney, and most of the soldiers from Orkney had experienced Lot's specious modern military training, which was very reliable in terms of discipline. And Altria was also a very responsible person. After Lot arrived, he naturally saw the neatly arranged army. Military support is available. After checking it again and seeing that there were no problems, Lot returned to the castle. When Lot returned to the castle, Morgan gave him a surprise. Come on, Luke, you are going to be a father again. When Lot came back, Morgan spoke to him like this. Hearing Morgan's words like this, Lot was dumbfounded on the spot. The child in your stomach hasn't come out yet? Counting from today. It has only been more than three months after the full play. How can you be pregnant with another one? In this world, even though Father Newton's coffin board can't hold down for a long time, he still needs to pay attention to the most basic biology. Morgan, be more sober. You are a human, you are not a kangaroo, and you can't give birth to embryos while pregnant for a few months. Morgan smiled secretly when he heard what Lot was thinking. Although she didn't know what a kangaroo was, she knew that this dog was misunderstood. Then, she looked up at Lot. It doesn't matter what I do. This time, I just said that you have an extra son, but I didn't say that I would be a mother again. What are you talking about? You don't doubt what I'm doing, do you? I told you that I can say that I was single-minded to you. Before I married you, I hadn't even touched the maid in the house. Lot said in a panic after hearing Morgan say this. In the past, it was because the appearance of the maids around was really sorry for the audience. So Lot, who was still a very picky virgin, would of course not engage in maids. And now after marrying Morgan, it won't happen anymore. It was because of cleanliness in the beginning. But now it's love. And now that Morgan said he had another child, now Lot was really panicked. I didn't do anything. I can't be wronged. Loki, of course I am extremely relieved of you. Morgan looked at him so nervous, smiled and waved. Although when she got married, she was very suspicious of Lot's overly proficient technique. But now for so long, she has already believed in Lot very much. Even if all men in this world would cheat, there wouldn't be Lot. First, it is his love for himself, which he is extremely sure of. Second, according to this guy's tired look, he is really lazy and derailed. Morgan didn't want to keep Lot in a hurry. She said quickly, I'm just here to find you an adopted son. Oh, yes, you almost scared me to death. Lot heaved a sigh of relief. Then he asked Morgan curiously, by the way, who is your adopted person? Is it the orphan of which night? Adopt the orphans in the war, and then build a guard army. They will be extremely loyal to us. Okay. Morgan thought of such an idea, it was indeed good. Lot thought in his heart. Okay. This method is really good. Morgan took this matter in his mind and kept it for later. After writing it down, she smiled and said to Lot, No, it's Ching Galahad. What? Lot shouted with wide eyes. Want to make Galahad my adopted son? What exactly is this unfolding? Morgan looked at Lot who was surprised, and said, That's it. I think he lacks paternal love. Then I took the opportunity to tell you about your adoption as his adoptive father, and he didn't object to it. So, this matter, that's it. Lot was dumbfounded. He asked Morgan again. He really didn't object to it? Well. Of course, Morgan nodded and said. Then, she said to Lot with a begging look. Loki, you see that child is so pitiful, must you be able to give him father's love? Yes, it should be okay. Lot reluctantly agreed. I am less than twenty years old this year, so how come I have such a big son? Although according to Galahad's date of birth, it is more than enough for me to be his father. But, seeing Lot still hesitating, Morgan hurriedly said, What are you hesitating? You can't doubt that Galahad will do something to you, right? Okay, agree to it so that he can give it to us with all his heart. Come to work. Okay, Lot finally agreed, half pushing. Besides, this Galahad was also obtained by himself. I also need to be responsible for him. Although Galahad's force is very strong, his character is much stronger than that of a certain 358 regiment commander. To be a foster father to him, there is no need to worry about whether he will stab me in the back. Still quite at ease. And it's good to accept a son. Get used to the feeling of being a father in advance. Morgan will be in production in a few months. When you become a father yourself, you won't be in a hurry. Dot. The army is finished, and then it is ready to move. The military situation on King Lydicuan's side is urgent, so he can't delay his effort. The soldiers were loaded on the ship, and Lot and Morgan were also on the flagship, heading for Scotland. Along with Morgan and Lot are the high-level military personnel and some important personnel. For example, an old liar. For example, a certain Lancelot who is now cause making rice dumplings. Lot and Morgan were holding the dumplings while watching him being loaded onto the boat by Galahad. Looking at the Yanks River, Lot's eyes showed a hint of embarrassment. No matter how he took his son away, he also tied him up like a zongtsai. You say, I weigh. Hey, wait, we are going to see Gurney Vale, right? Oh, there is no problem. Lot thought in his heart, and then looked at Galahad behind him. Um, did you tie the rope tied to him? He asked. Yes. Galahad nodded with a weird expression. Until now. 
he still felt that this thing was a bit outrageous. The person in front of him who seemed to be about the same age as him became his adoptive father, but since he agreed, Galahad will recognize the relationship. Yes, he nodded. Then, he looked at Lot, thinking it was his adoptive father who felt that he was doing it too much. Well, maybe it is. After all, it is too filial to do it to the biological father in the eyes of outsiders. What if the adoptive father told me to release Lance a lot later? Remember to put more restraints later. You, the restraints are still too loose. Okay, Galahad nodded slightly weirdly. He is still a little too pure. Lot smiled triumphantly. What a joke. With one's own presence, no one would let his son go die in Lancelot's hands. After nodding his head, Lot decided to come and tie Lancelot tightly by himself. At this moment, Lancelot was still thinking about how to break free. He wants to become a famous knight. But he will never become a prisoner who is tied up. He wants to find a way to escape. As long as these shackles are released, his chance of escape is actually great. Lancelot's origin determined that he could easily return to land even at sea. He has made up his mind. If I can get rid of this this time, I must return to France quickly. I will never step into the British Islands again in my life. While he was thinking like this, Lot came over. Seeing Lot coming in, Lancelot stared at him fiercely. Are you here to humiliate me? He said to Lot. I don't have that kind of hobby. Lot said to Lancelot with a smile. At the same time, he also picked up a few iron chains in his hands. Lancelot's face changed instantly. What are you going to do? Of course it's for safety. Lot tied Lancelot firmly with a chain. Hey, why on earth are you targeting me like this? When the matter came to the present, Lancelot could also see it. What I have encountered these days is not just Camelot's actions towards the prisoners under normal circumstances. Therefore, I am special. It is different from others. Bastard. Who wants to be this special? I want the treatment that a normal prisoner should have. I'm from France. I haven't killed innocent people or bullied the weak on this land. I have done nothing except the time when I was your enemy. Now he watched Lot appear, so he was busy asking Lot where his problem was. What's wrong? Can't I change it? After I changed it, what did you do to me and tell me? Okay, I am not afraid of being hurt, but, I have to know how I died, right? Lot said to Lancelot. Well, you have to guess the question yourself. But I promise you that it is not without reason that Galahad hates you like this. Similarly, I will take you it is also very necessary to tie you firmly in the process of facing the aid of King Leodkuin. You one by one, all seem to be hiding something. That Galahad, feeling towards me under the appearance of hatred, there is another emotion. What is the relationship between me and him? Lancelot looked at Lot and said, as expected to be a knight in the lake. The feeling in this area is really sensitive. Lot thought in his heart. Then he said to Lancelot, these. But all of them need you to come and ask him. Okay, just stay here. When the time comes, don't run around. After saying this, he turned and left. Only Lancelot was left looking at his already tied body that was tighter than rice dumplings and wanted to cry without tears. Lot walked out, just to see that Galahad was standing at the door. Seeing his expression like this, Lot patted his shoulder lightly. Some things, he is actually a bit innocent. You can try to communicate with him, otherwise both sides are deadlocked. You may regret it for a lifetime. Lot persuaded Galahad. But foster father, doesn't he still know who he is now? Galahad pointed inside and said to Lot. When calling his foster father, Galahad's tone was a little weird. Dot. Then you have to wait for him to meet your mother? No, I don't want him to see my mother goodbye. Then you are planning to let him marry someone else? Lot continued to ask. This. Galahad shook his head subconsciously. No, I won't agree. So, you plan to let him go on like this? That. Galahad suddenly became embarrassed. Then, that. Wait until I think about it, he answered Lot. How to deal with the relationship with his father, it is indeed a difficult thing. Forget it, now the important thing is to deal with the next battle. The lion fights the rabbit with all its strength, and King Ryan is also a not weak force in Scotland. We still can't take it lightly, Lot said to himself. Dot. Camelot's army has not arrived yet. This is the battle between King Lydicuan and King Ryan. The knights and other troops of the two sides fought on a grassland a few miles outside the castle of King Leodicuan. Even if King Lydicuan worked hard, his age and strength were indeed not as good as King Ryan. So the battle outside the castle ended with the victory of King Ryan. The army of King Ryan's gathered, and those other nobles in Scotland also began to support King Ryan's. The castle of King Leodguin was surrounded by water and adopted various methods to attack the castle. Father, haven't the enemy retreated? Gurney Weir stood by King Leodguin, and said with some worry. Okay, King Leodguin nodded slightly to express his approval. But immediately, he comforted Niva and said, But don't worry, as long as I'm here. The bad guys won't be able to hurt you. Well, father, I believe in you. So the father and daughter stood on the city wall, watching King Ryan's army attack below. The black crowd attacked, making King Lydicuan and Gurney Vale pale. Some are too scared. Just when the King Lydicuan wanted to say a few more words to comfort his daughter. At this time, 
He saw a soldier in Camelot armor rushing towards this side in the distance. His eyes lit up. Then, King Lydicuan showed a surprise expression on his face. Camelot's reinforcements finally came. Chapter 82 What's wrong? I fell in love with my sister. Question mark 4K. Finally here. I thought it would take a long time for them to arrive. King Lydicuan looked at the reinforcements. His eyes were extremely excited with this look of eagerness. It was as if Aldria saw the food, Boscow saw the wife, and the little John Khan saw you Aragaki. He couldn't wait to rush down, holding Lot and Morgan who came to support, and gave them a hard kiss on the face. But just think about it. If he really did this, then Lot would definitely turn his gun and shoot at the King Lydicuan. Playing as a hooligan, that's not good. Are they the reinforcements of King Lot? At the side of King Lyodkuan, Gurnivir also looked at the coming army. Yes. So, daughter, you are safe. King Lydicuan nodded excitedly. Yeah. Gurnivir nodded slightly not too happy. After all, Lot and Morgan wanted too much. Not only have land and money, but also some political decisions, which are all demanded from his father. My father still had to agree. Therefore, Gurney Vale just watched calmly at first, until this knight rushing to the front is really handsome. Gurney Vale looked at the little blonde knight in knight armor, penetrating through the heavy enemies, slashing the horse with a sword, and said with a slight reddish cheek, resolute expression, handsome face, vigorous skills and handsome movements. The enemy besieged him heavily, but he didn't panic at all, swinging his sword to shake the enemy's attacks away, and then slashing with a long sword, smoothly passing through the enemy's encirclement. He is riding a war horse, is rushing towards myself. At this moment, Gunny Vale felt a little tempted. Dot. The one who was riding and cutting right away was Aldria. As the vanguard of the Morgan army, after the ship crossed the sea from England to the land of Scotland, she led a part of the elite troops to the forefront of the team to prevent people from attacking the large troops. Until just now, she led the army to the vicinity of King Leodguin's castle, and saw that King Leodguin's castle was being besieged by King Ryan. Faced with this situation, Altria certainly did not dare to delay the slightest. Quickly ordered to proceed and report to Lot. Faced with this kind of report, Lot quickly responded, Attack! Attack directly! After receiving this order, Altria did not hesitate, and led the army to charge. He immediately fought with King Ryan's army. As a knight, Altria took the lead, wielding a sword in the stone and defeated one enemy after another. Although the sword in the stone was made by Merlin, it was far better than the weapons held by the soldiers or ordinary knights. Neither their weapons nor the knight's armor could withstand the attack of the sword in the stone. Needless to say, Altria's martial arts, indeed, Lancelot and Galahad are slightly inferior. But just these few people, who else can be her opponent, facing Altria's charge? King Ryan Shai's army began to have some chaos. No one dared to make a head-on-head -head collision with Aldria. It's not that our army doesn't work hard. This is really the other party opened up. In the process of this rush, Aldria always felt that someone was observing herself from behind. Is there any enemy who is going to release a cold arrow in the dark to insult me? Well, I have to take precautions early. Aldria thought in her heart. It's just that what makes her a little strange is... The person who was secretly preparing to attack her was probably from the side of King Lydkuen. Could it be said that there was a traitor beside King Leodikuen? Aldria thought in her heart, while thinking about it. She swung the sword again and knocked down three soldiers, at the same time wondering, how come His Majesty Lot and His Majesty Morgan haven't come here yet? Dot. In fact, Morgan and Lot led people here a long time ago. When Aldria passed the news, they ordered the soldiers who had begun to march to the vicinity of the battlefield. It's just that they didn't go into the battle right away. If we lead the army in the past to support Aldria, it will easily become a fueling tactic. In this way, we can easily become confrontational. So, we'd better go around behind the King Ryanshire again, and explode behind him fiercely. Lot looked at the battlefield and thought in his heart. Morgan listened to the thoughts in his mind and couldn't help but glanced sideways. This color dog. How persistent is it for the back? When fighting with people, I always like to go behind the scenes. I always feel, follow the way of Guzi. Not only is the enemy's rear unprotected, but my own rear is also unprotected. Morgan sat on the horse, somewhat unnatural. It seems that I have been caught up in it. But Morgan does not approve of this kind of gameplay and this kind of XP. But for Lot's tactics, Morgan was extremely approving. As long as the war is victory, Lot's doing this can bring us fewer sacrifices, and that's better. Regarding specific combat methods, Morgan chose to trust Lot unconditionally. No matter how he fights. I believe he will win. But now I also have to contribute my abilities. She performed her magic and was exploring. Lot did not let the army launch an offensive in the first place. And he hadn't waited for him to speak with Morgan to explain his tactics. Morgan opened his mouth and said to Lot, Lot, the enemy is about three to five magicians. The magic they performed just now has been blocked by me. They can't detect our army. Wait, I'll deal with those magicians, Lot. You can attack with confidence at any time. Okay, Lot nodded slightly. This explanation does not need to be explained. Morgan believed in himself unconditionally. What else to say? Just use a hearty victory to make her happy. Go, 
let's get ready to fight. He began to lead the army and moved quietly behind the army of King Ryan. The battle on the battlefield at this moment is already in full swing. Altria was about to break through King Ryan's army, and went to the castle to meet with King Lyodkiwan. King Lyodkiwan also saw this and led the army to rush out to meet Aldria. In order to prevent the people on both sides from coming together, the king of Ryan also made great efforts. He sent almost all his troops to the middle of the two armies, blocking them. The two sides fought in blood, making this battlefield a surer field. And even Aldria, at this moment, is still a little shocking the enemy. I'm so hungry, I almost can't lift the strength. No, I have to give myself some motivation. His Majesty Morgan promised me that after winning, you can do whatever you want. While attacking, Altria thought in her heart, thinking that there is still a big meal to eat after winning the next battle, she raised more war spirits, turned this appetite into strength, and slashed at the enemy. Want to stop me from doing food? That is absolutely impossible. But in her mind, she was still a little strange. Why, it always feels that this is getting hotter from the sight of King Lydicuan. Is this going to carry out a sneak attack on yourself? Altria attacked, while still making some defenses in her heart, beware of someone coming and hurting people. And on the other side of the battlefield, Ryan Shiwang was still guarding against the possibility that someone might come to reinforce it at the beginning. But later, as the situation became urgent, he didn't care about it anymore. Order all the troops in your hand to attack. The magician under his staff also began to probe, but no other enemies were found. This made King Ryan relax a little bit. This enemy is really strong. If I wait for him to be captured, I can ask him, if he serves me. Our army will definitely become more powerful, he commented. Then, after he finished this evaluation, he couldn't help laughing. And watching him laugh like this, his jesters cooperated to ask him, Your Majesty, why are you laughing? I'm laughing at the enemy's lack of reinforcements. At this time, if there is an army coming behind us to sneak attacks, wouldn't we be defeated? King Ryan said to the jester. The jesters laughed cooperatively. Then they saw an army appear not far behind them. Dot. Seeing these troops appear. King Ryan Shiwang's laughter stopped abruptly. He suddenly looked at the magician beside him. Didn't you say that there are no enemies nearby? This, it may be that the enemy has a much stronger magician than me. The magician said guessingly. Then you didn't say it earlier? I do not know either. The magician was very wronged. Well, what should I do now? Watching Lot's army rush towards them, King Ryan shouted loudly. Or, we order the guards to launch a counterattack. What if it can be stopped? The magician said hesitantly. Well, it has to be so. Ruian Shiwang said helplessly. He ordered his guards to attack Lot's army. He looked at the knight rushing in the front, thinking that his guards would get rid of this person, and maybe he could be able to support his other troops to come back and help. Like the knight on the battlefield over there, I shouldn't see many people. Can such a person appear second? He comforted himself in his heart. Yes, there will be a second one. The knight rushing forward was not Lot, it was Galahad. King Ryan watched his martial arts leader rushing forward fiercely, but in just one round, he was chopped under the horse by Galahad. Two people are not of the same magnitude at all. Depend on. This one is more fierce, King Ryan shouted in his heart. He turned his head back abruptly, trying to ask his magician, what else could he do? Then, what about people? The magician under him had already slipped away at this moment. We magicians are civilized people, and fighting and killing are not suitable for us, so let's slip away quickly. Gan, Ryan Shiwang cursed loudly. These people have really low morals. After cursing, King Ryan also turned and left after thinking for a few seconds. At this time, his own guards couldn't stop him for long. Then don't stay here and wait for death. There are still quite a few troops on his own territory. I escaped this time, and I will be able to make a comeback in the future. Now, one's own life can't be wasted here. The mage can go, can't my king go? Thinking of this in my mind, the king of ruin disappeared. And the army of King Ryan Shai saw that their king was running away. Of course, they had no fighting spirit in their hearts. Faced with the three-way attack of Lot, Altria and King Ludkiwan. It could only be lost. The helmet unloaded and was completely defeated. In an army of thousands, fewer than a thousand people escaped the battlefield in the end. The two waves of people have joined together. King Lydicuan looked at Lot and Morgan, and said with a smile, I have seen King Lot and Queen Morgan, thank you for your timely action, so that my castle will not be attacked by King Ryan. Although Lot and Morgan wanted a lot of things for themselves, it was a real help. Hearing what King Lydicuan said, Lot said solemnly, We are all allies and we will naturally watch and help each other. Your enemy is my enemy. I will never sit by and watch you get attacked. This little fox has such a thick face. King Lydicuan thought when he looked at a lot like this. At this time, Altria was still frowning. Then, she looked at the crowd and said, Your Majesty King Lydicuan, there are enemies in your army. What? King Lydicuan exclaimed in surprise. And at this moment, Altria pointed to a point not far behind King Lydicuan. I see. Someone is looking at me all the time. Everyone looked at Altria's line of sight. A beautiful girl with bright eyes and white teeth was staring at Altria. Daughter? King Lydicuan shouted at the girl in surprise. Is this Skirny Vale? Lot yelled suspiciously in his heart. And at this moment, 
Gurney Vale looked at Altria with very hot A's. She came over, then looked at Altria and said, Well, what is your name, Mr. Cavaliers? Also, are you married? How old are you this year? My name is Altria, unmarried, and sixteen years old. Altria answered very honestly. She felt that she was thinking wrong. And on the other side, Okay, okay. Both Lot and Morgan were shocked, gazed at each other. This woman, did she fall in love with Altria? Two people thought together in their hearts. Chapter 83 Altria, I refuse. 4K. My name is Aldria. I am 16 years old. My gender is considered to be male. I am unmarried. I live in the Chalk City. Hey, wait. You woman, come here to ask me why? Aldria looked at this gurney Vern with some doubts. This is not right. I am not the coach. If you want to be grateful at this time, shouldn't you ask Lotto or Morgan? What do you mean by asking me? Do you want to reward me with something? However, you can't get past His Majesty Lot to do it. Looking at Gurney Vale's eyes, Aldria knew she was wrong. However, this look in her eyes also made her even more puzzled. What is this man going to do? Altria was very confused. After all, she had seen this look for the first time. Dot. Seeing his bewildered expression, Gurney Vale secretly smiled in her heart. What a young and innocent knight this is. It was completely different from the corrupt and chaotic emotional history of other knights in this era. Gurney Vale was on the castle just now, always watching Altria's fight. His appearance was too in line with his vision of the knight. Handsome and fearless. Although handsome, but those enemies are not his enemy at all. Very chic. Father, I like people like this so much. Gurney Vale thought. In her perspective, the heroic knight broke through the obstacles and rushed towards him. Although Gurney Wynne knew that this was for the strategic purpose of both sides. But, she also couldn't help thinking in her heart. This knight is for himself. The ferocious enemies had trapped the weak princess on the tower, and at this time, the heroic knight appeared and charged the enemy. Artilda. What kind of a legendary plot of a knight? Gurney Vale looked at Altria's heroic figure and her heart was beating arbitrarily. Seeing his heroic appearance, she was sincerely happy, and seeing him surrounded by enemies, she clasped her nervous hands tightly, fearing that he would be in danger. And when they finally won the victory, she smiled in her heart again. Father, I may be in love. So after she saw Altria, Gurnivir directly asked him about his situation, whether he was married or not, she wanted to know. And now that he was not married, Gurnivir gave a sincere smile. Beside, King Yaudikuan looked depressed in his heart. He is so old. What kind of situation can be kept from him? He is also very clear about the thoughts in his daughter's mind. King Lydicuan was a little depressed. He felt that although he had not lost the castle, he had lost more things. Seeing that Gurney Vale was about to say to Altria, comma, you have to marry me, the King Lydicuan quickly interrupted and said, Ahem, daughter, come and say hello to King Lot and Queen Morgan. Oh, hearing what King Lydicuan said, Gurney Vale nodded reluctantly. However, her heart is indeed reluctant at all. For Lot and Morgan, she still couldn't remember the feeling of liking. On the one hand, although Lot and Morgan's looks are not worse than hers, she is born with a feeling of disgust, and she doesn't know where this relationship comes from. On the other hand, it was also because of Lot's tactics just now. Gurney Vale was still a young man, and his heart was full of yearning for chivalry. When fighting with others, you should confront them head on, and then defeat the enemy in an upright manner. This kind of behavior of attacking the enemy's rear from behind, Gurney Vale simply looks down on it. Moreover, she could also clearly see that Lot was using Altria as bait. Your heart is really cruel. Gurney Vale continued to complain to Lot in his heart. Upon seeing this, King Lydicuan quickly said, Let's not wait here. I have already arranged a banquet. Let's go into my castle and rest quickly. Okay, all right. Lot agreed. So, everyone rode towards the castle. During this process, Gurney Vale had been looking at Altria, with affection in his eyes. At the same time, she kept asking Altria about her identity. Altria didn't want to say it but thought that Gurney Vere was the only daughter of her friendly king, and she couldn't make a bad face. Then, she told Gurney Vale about her identity and her righteous brother's adoptive father. Gurney Vale kept this in his heart while chatting. Lot saw all these in his eyes. Mai, I forgot, the Gurney Vere in this world is actually from the king's cook. As long as Altria is a male, or she has the attributes of a lily, there won't be any subsequent tragedies. He thought in his heart. Morgan saw it. Hey, this is a bit troublesome. I thought this Gurney Vere was actually gay so I married my sister. As a result, you are telling me that these were all made by Gurney Vere without knowing it, so I must not agree with this marriage. Otherwise, the two of them are destined to become tragedies. Morgan thought secretly in his heart. It's a pity that 150 nights dowry. Okay, dowry 150 nights? Morgan's eyes widened instantly. Can you give so many nights? On the one hand, it is his own sister who can eat and can eat. On the other hand, there are 150 outstanding nights. Morgan was in a very tangled state. She looked at Lot, then at Altria. And finally at this gurney, is there any way, can you get them all? I am very greedy. My sister didn't want to give, and the knights wanted to get all of them. What to do? Morgan thought. Then he looked at Lot. In some respects, he still lacks resourcefulness. So, you still need to make some suggestions for yourself. Okay, it was so decided. When you wait until the evening, 
continued to squeeze the coloring dog. Dot. Going inside the castle, King Lydicuan was very concerned about entertaining Lot and the others. All kinds of food at the banquet are rare and delicious. However, when these foods were eaten in the mouths of Lot, Morgan and Altria, they seem to be lacking in interest. These skills are far from Lot's reluctantly pretends. In the face of King Lydicuan, it is possible. These let King Lydicuan see in his eyes. He was also puzzled. What is happening? Is there anything else you didn't entertain me well? Not so much. At any rate, I am also a relatively powerful king in Scotland, and I did my best to entertain him. Why would they still dislike it so much? But he didn't care about it at the moment. Because his daughter Nivel found herself at this time. When she reached a place where there was no one, she opened her mouth and said to King Lydkewen, Father, I like that knight Taldria. Okay, although he was mentally prepared, he nodded unnaturally when he heard Gurney Vale say this. Are you too early? It's getting late, Father. Do you believe there is something called love at first sight? Father, when I first saw him, I felt a feeling of love. Father, I want to marry Aldria. Gurney Vale shook his head and replied to his father. There was a very firm will in his eyes. In some ways, she is very serious. You still don't understand what he is like? You just saw his bravery when he was on the battlefield. But what about his performance in other areas? You haven't really understood it yet, so just say that. To marry him? King Lydicion said to Gurney Vale. I have already known him just now. I believe him. He must be a good person in life. Gurney Vale waved and said. King Lydicuan continued to say to Gurnival, but, he is just a knight. Gurnival, he doesn't have a turf in his hand, and he doesn't have much property. If you marry him, it will suffer. Of, young people know love all day long without thinking about real life at all. It's okay, father, I'm already prepared in my heart. Gurney Vale pinched his waist and said. Real? King Lydicuan said to Gurnival strangely. Isn't your daughter spoiled? Are you prepared for this? Of course, Neville said, pointing to his father. Although Altria has no money. But, father, you have it. When you come, you can give us more support. That's all right. Oh, no, father, you only have my daughter. You can keep Altria and inherit the throne in the future. Hiss. King Lydicuan took a cold breath. Is this own daughter so filial? My husband has no money. The first thought in my mind was to pit my father. You are too filial, right? My heart hurts. King Lydicuan covered his chest and thought. But after another thought, it was actually quite good. Maybe. I can keep my daughter from leaving me. I only have this daughter, so of course I have to be pampered to the extreme. I will give her all my own things in the future. Okay, Aldria is just a knight. Even if he can't compare with Camelot, is he a king? Ro, I went to find a way to recruit Aldria to my side. When the time comes, my daughter will not leave my side. Very nice. Thinking of this wonderful scene, King Lyadicuan couldn't help laughing. Dot. Thinking of this in his heart, King Lyadicuan asked to call Aldria over. At this moment, Aldria is still trying to eliminate the steak. Although the food prepared was indeed not delicious, she ate it with all her strength in the attitude that the knight must not waste the food. And at this time, she heard King Lyodguin come to call her. Although puzzled, it passed. Morgan and Lot were also eating. They saw King Lyodguin going to call Aldria. The two looked at each other. What's happening here? Have no idea. Then how about we go over and take a look? Ro. The two discussed it, and followed them secretly. Dot. His Majesty King Lyodguin. May I ask if you have anything to do with me? Altria asked to King Lyodkewen. At the same time, she also glanced at Neville, who was sitting next to King Lyodkewen, who had been looking at her with scorching eyes, and Altria felt a little unnatural. This person, why do you look at me like I look at delicious food? That's it, Knight Altria, I ask you. Do you want to leave Camelot and play for me instead? King Lyodkewen spoke to Altria. Huh? What are you talking about? Altria looked suspiciously at King Lyodkewen. I did a good job under Lot and Morgan. Why should I turn around to take refuge in you? Although I am not very smart, I am not stupid either. You come to my side, you can get more status and things than you do on Camelot. You will get a higher status on my side. While he was saying this, Gurney Vale also looked at Altria, looking forward to his response. I reject, Altria said without hesitation. What a joke. What I got at Camelot, you, King Lydicuan, can't give me. At least, the meal in the cafeteria is absolutely different. As a fancier. Altria cares very much about the dry food. Your meal is not as good as Camelot, I don't even have a reason to hesitate. So decisive? King Lyodicuan looked at Altria with a little surprise. Then he said straightforwardly, Well, I will confess, I want to marry my daughter to you. Then after I die, this country will be yours. Although not as good as Camelot, but it is also very big in Scotland. At that time, you will directly become the king of this country, which is much better than being a knight in Camelot. With that said, Gurney Veer showed a shy expression. However, under the shy expression, she looked at Aldria with expectant A's. Promise. Agree quickly. As long as you agree, the country is yours and I am yours. Aldria felt that she could understand Neville's mind, and for this expectation, she panicked even more. Sorry, I can't agree to it. Aldria said quickly. What a joke, I am a woman. How can this woman marry a woman? This is absolutely impossible to promise. Chapter 84 Gurney Vale, 
you join the Knights of the Round Table, 4k. Good fellow, we kindly came to fight him, but he actually came over and tried to poach my general. This old fellow is really hateful. After Morgan and Lot saw that Altria had been called away by Gurney's father, the two of them tauntily ran over to eavesdrop, and the means of eavesdropping. This Morgan is a very superb magician. It's not easy to eavesdrop on the conversations of a few people. And Lot, then I had to listen to Morgan's narration. After hearing that King Lydekin said he wanted Altria to come and marry Gurnival and inherit his throne, Morgan clenched his fist very angrily. I wish I would rush in now and give this King Lydekin a fierce punch. Well, indeed, Lot said very approvingly. However, in his heart, he thought with some guilty conscience, although, if we look at what the two of us want, the King Lydekuin is only to pry the corner, and he cares more about the relationship between the two sides. Morgan also touched his nose with some guilty conscience. Indeed, this is a bit cruel. The requirements for money and armor weapons are still relatively small, after all, these can still be earned. Lot and Morgan wanted the most ruthless one. It's still about the alliance with King Lyodkuin. No, it is not an alliance to be precise but the relationship between the boss and the younger brother. Although it can't be said that the Red Bears control over its little brother, it is at least a fight with a beautiful country. In the general direction, follow the actions of Morgan and Lot. So now watching King Lydekuin come to Digaldria, not only is there no problem, but on the contrary, he is confident. Even if this person is just an ordinary courtier under Morgan, then letting his courtier become the next generation of King Lydekuin is actually very profitable. It is also convenient for oneself to better control here. But, this is based on the premise that the general courtiers, who is Gurney Vale after, that was Morgan's only sister, Lot's only sister-in-law. She is very important to Morgan. How could it be taken to marry your princess? Morgan would not do such a thing. Moreover, taking a step back, even if Morgan is willing, Altria has nothing to do. Gurney will like Saltria as a man, not Altria as a woman. If two people are together, it will definitely help. Then it will be all tragedies. Morgan pushed Lot with his elbow. Anyway, we have to find a way to retaliate for this matter. HMPH who dare to move me? Of course, Lot nodded in approval. Damn it, you who dare to move me? Question mark. While the two were discussing, Altria escaped from the room with a move that was almost deserted. It's scary. After coming out, she was still mumbling to herself. She would never consider marrying a person. She said this, and then saw that in the darkness, two pairs of eyes were looking at her faintly. Her heart shuddered, subconsciously drew the sword in the stone. But at this time, she knew who these two people were. Lot and Morgan are two people. Seeing that it was the two of them, Altria breathed a sigh of relief. But then, she lifted the breath of letting go. If it is an enemy, an assassin, or even a ghost, as a brave knight, there is no fear at all. However, Lot and His Majesty Morgan looked at themselves like this. Is it a description? They already know what happened to me. Although she thought that when King Lydekuin asked about her, she refused decisively. However, this secretly communicating with them about this matter will make His Majesty Morgan angry. For Altria, the consequences of Morgan's anger that can be said to be very serious. However, she did not expect that it was not a violent Morgan who greeted her. On the contrary, she saw Morgan smile extremely brightly. Knight Altria, you did a good job. Morgan was of course very happy. My sister, that is on my side, did not accept the temptation of King Lydekuin. Morgan really wanted to touch Altria's head to praise her now. But now thinking about her appearance as a man, she was embarrassed to do it. Of course, you can't let Siguzi do that. Morgan glanced at Lot. Really? But even so, Altria was very happy. She said to Morgan. Don't worry. It is absolutely impossible for me to betray the two majesty. Really? Even if the fellow Merlin ordered you to be the same? Morgan continued to speak to Altria. See Guzzi told her that Altria got 150 knights after marrying Gurney Vale. This is a very powerful force, and if Merlin gets it, it will also be very dangerous to his regime. Yes, even teacher Merlin is the same. Altria is not the kind of teacher that she will listen to. She has her own opinion, and it will not change easily. Ah, very good. Morgan showed a happy expression. As long as Altria has no problems. Then whether it is King Lydekuin nor Merlin's calculations, it will be useless. This is what Siguzi said, grab the root of the matter, I will remember. After waiting to go back, I will reward you well, she said to Altria. Real? Altria showed a surprised expression. Real? Morgan made encouraging words to Altria. Altria left happily. Lot and Morgan also left. Only King Lydekuin with a sad face and Gurneval with an unbelievable face were left here. Daughter, this night Altria is too loyal to Lot. Let's not pry him away, King Lydekian said to Gurney Vale. Gurney Weir was a little unbelievable. She looked at her father. Father, do you think I'm not pretty enough? How can this be? Hearing what his daughter said, King Lydekian said flatly. You are the most beautiful girl in Britain. No one dares to say that you are not good looking. This, even if King Lydekian was not Neville's father, he could say it. After all, Gurney Vale's face is really good looking. Even Morgan and others are impossible to deny. Therefore, the action of King Lydekian towards Aldria is extremely strange. My daughter is so beautiful. My possessions are so much, and my attitude is so sincere. Excuse me, 
What is it because of you, you won't agree to it? King Lydicuan can be said to be puzzling. He really couldn't think of any reason why Altria could make such a decision. He had no choice but to open his mouth and said to Nevia, Or, daughter, you change someone. I promise to find someone more handsome than him. At the same time, someone who is stronger than him will be your husband-in-law. How about it? No, I won't agree to it. I, I have spotted Altria. Gurney Vale pinched her waist and said very seriously. How should I put it? For Altria's feelings, Gurney Verimbi said to feel very good. At this moment, when facing her father's inquiry, she firmly expressed her position. Then I think of a way. Seeing his daughter so resolute, King Lyadikuan could only helplessly agree. Having such a daughter on his own, there is really no way to complain. But it can only find a way. Dot. Morgan and Lot returned to the lounge. Morgan, on the other hand, started her idea of draining Lot. Of course, it is not physical squeezing, but mental squeezing. I want to squeeze all Lot's ingenuity. For example, the matter of Altria now always has to find a way to solve it. She squinted her eyes and said to Lot, You said, Shall we go to protest with King Lyodkin tomorrow? Protest? How to protest? You can't say that you don't support the progress of your subordinates. If you do this, who will come to us? Lot directly refuted Morgan's proposal. Okay. Morgan also nodded in agreement. Then we are optimistic about Altria's side first, so that she will not agree to the invitation of King Lyodkin. Yes, the top priority now is to strengthen Altria's determination. Lot nodded in agreement. But now that I think about it, this matter is not too big a problem. Altria is not Lily unless Merlin is going to get a moth, otherwise she won't agree to it. Regarding Merlin, Morgan also reminded Aldria. Then there should be nothing. Morgan also recognized Lot's idea in his heart. Only, sometimes, for the sake of safety, we still have to do some necessary preparations. Morgan had already thought about it. When dealing with matters during this period, she must be optimistic about Merlin. And in order to look at this Merlin, it is necessary to release a special weapon for Merlin. Lot. Laughter. From tomorrow on, you have to stare at the old liar Merlin. This is safe. And he continued to look at Aldria. But, the 150 nights. That's really fragrant. Morgan thought drooling. So in order to squeeze Lot's idea, Morgan held his chin, leaned on Lot's chest and said, I said scumbag, if you said that Aldria is a man, it will be fine. At that time, really Latty came to marry Gurnival. It is estimated that we can still make a lot of things from King Ludkuen. Yes, Lot heard Morgan say this. Lot immediately remembered the 150 knights. Hearing that these 150 knights might be leaving him, Lot also immediately felt distressed. In some respects, Lot and Morgan's ideas can be said to be extremely relevant. Oh, although it's not my own, but I also feel that I have lost my life. Lot thought in his heart. Um, yeah, I've lost a lot of money, so quickly think of a way. Morgan shouted in his heart. Others, this Gurney Verd is unlikely to be of interest. Even if it was Lancelot. Gurney would not choose to cheat until he knew that Altria was a girl. If you want these 150 knights, you must let Gurney Vale follow us willingly. And Gurney Vale left willingly, so she still leaned on Altria. But this Gurney Vale is not Lily. So difficult Tilda. Yes, this seems to be stuck in an endless loop. Lot stroked Morgan lightly. And Morgan lay in his arms very obediently, and used his finger to draw a circle in Lot's arms. Because she knew that at this moment, the dog couldn't think of a way, and it was the time to be upset in her heart. Therefore, I have to come to comfort him. If it were in normal times, she would take a more intense way to comfort Lot. But now that I have gone in my stomach after all, I can't do that anymore. So I had to use this kind of action to comfort Lot. Lot actually enjoyed this kind of comfort. He hugged Morgan lightly. Forget it, don't think about it, I'll go to sleep, these hundred and fifty nights, if you don't get it, you can't get it. Hey, who made this nivel not have eyes? In the nights of the round table of hundreds of people, she had fancy the only female knight? Um, yeah who made her the only female knight. Morgan responded to Lot's words. Then she stopped, etc. It seems like this, Morgan thought to himself, with an expression of excitement in his eyes. Looky, I thought of a way, she said to Lot. Huh? What? Lot looked at Morgan suspiciously. Morgan knew that he had missed his mouth, and hurriedly covered his hands. Hey, luscious dog, I'll let you know how I did it in a few days, she deliberately said to Lot mysteriously. Then I will wait and see. Regarding his wife's idea, even if he doesn't know what the situation is, Lot still has to support it. Dot. What are you talking about? Your Majesty Morgan, you want me to join the Knights of the Round Table? Gurnevere pointed to herself and said with a surprised expression. Yeah, but I just give you a chance. Morgan said mysteriously to Gurney Vale. Well, yes, you see if you pass, it is the first female Knight of the Knights of the Round Table. My Knight Altria, in fact, the Knight is my favorite. If you do this, you may be able to do what you like. Maybe, the stronger you are the easier it will be to receive Aldria's attention. Anyway, I didn't promise anything. I just said that I might notice it. My sister, that's still the marked daughter. Morgan thought in his heart. Chapter 85 Daughter of Filial Piety, 
First more, since you can leave King Kuan to let my sister Altria quit, isn't it normal for me to attract your daughter Gurney? Follow the words of Siguzi. If the monk touched it, I can't touch it with the old way. Morgan's plan is simple. Altria is in the Knights of the Round Table, so if you want to be with her, is it more appropriate to join the Knights of the Round Table? When the time comes, you come to join my Knights of the Round Table and you alone will definitely not work. Your father will certainly not rest assured, according to your father's spoiling daughter character. So, wouldn't it be reasonable to add 150 knights? In this way, my goal was achieved. Perfect Tilda. Of course, it is impossible for you to succeed with my sister. It's best if you don't get it. See Guzi has one more sentence. It's better to call a wife than a lover. A lover is better to have an affair, and an affair is worse than to catch up. This point, of course, is not applicable to sex. But for this skirny veil, Morgan gave a kind smile. Anyway. I will tell you how to chase Aldria. Whether you can do it or not has nothing to do with me. Everything is your own business. I do not know anything. The matter between you has nothing to do with me. Morgan looked at Gurney Vale, looking forward to her response. Seeing Morgan's expectant expression, Gurney Veer showed a bewildered expression. Let yourself join the Knights of the Round Table. I never thought about it. But, isn't the knight group that only knights can join? She said to Morgan. If you can bring 150 knights, then you are naturally a knight. Morgan said in his heart. But on the bright side, she said solemnly. What's wrong? Among the knights, it is true that only knights can join. But, I didn't say that you can't become a knight. I give you a chance, or you can join the knights of the round table, and you will become our honorary member. Knight? Me? Gurniwea pointed to herself in disbelief. Things like knights. Can I really be? Yes, if you think about it, I can be a queen. So what happened to you to be a female knight? Morgan said in an honest voice. Come on, follow me. You can meet Aldria every day. Gurney Vale was a little moved when she heard Morgan say this. Then, she hesitated for a while and asked Morgan, so, your majesty Morgan, do you support my marriage with Altria? Of course it is not supported, Morgan thought to himself, then, she blinked and said solemnly, I support you together in principle, supported in principle, but not supported in fact, but Gurneyville didn't understand this, she looked at Morgan now, and it began to pleasing to the eye, well, this kind of person who attacked the enemy behind his back and asked for so many things from his father must not be Morgan, it must be the decision made by the husband of his majesty Morgan, King Lot, at that time, his Royal Highness Morgan must be on the back. Gurney Vale thought in her heart. If Morgan could read Gurney's heart at this moment, she would definitely guarantee that Gurney would never see Altria's good face in her life. Well, thank you. Gurney Vale smiled and said to Morgan. Then you went to the Knights of the Round Table? Since your Majesty Morgan said so, of course I will not refuse. Gurney Veer replied to Morgan. Well, go back and talk to your father. Morgan touched Gurney Vale's head lightly, and then said to her. I will go now. Gurney Vale nodded, and after bidding farewell to Morgan. She went to find her father. Oh, this filial girl, Morgan said sincerely. She said this, then turned back to her room. After returning to his room, Morgan saw that Lot was walking back with a wooden box. Did you have a happy event today? Why are you so happy? Seeing Morgan's expression, Lot asked curiously. Hey, you'll be clear in two days. Morgan smiled mysteriously, and then said to Lot. Then, she looked at the box, which contained iron blocks one after another. What's this? Morgan wanted to get it subconsciously. Lot avoided nervously. Don't touch it it will happen. Lot said to Morgan. This random touch will kill people, huh? What is this? Morgan asked Lot curiously. Well, Lot smiled triumphantly, and then introduced Morgan to the results of his fishing. A typical creation of the Red Bear. RG 60 terabytes temperature pressure grenade. Powerful. Lot already looked forward to the appearance of it being thrown into the battlefield. Hey, rabbits always have a phobia of lack of firepower. This can just solve this problem for me. Tomorrow, just hit the enemy, and by the way, scare the king Lydicuan. Morgan's eyes lit up as he listened. Um, scary. I like. She thought in her heart. Dot. On the other side, Gurney Vale returned happily to find her father. King Lydicuan looked at his daughter's excited expression. A little strange. What's the situation? Wasn't your daughter still worried about Altria's relationship this morning? Why is she happy now? But this is also a good thing. So he opened his mouth and said to Nevia, What's wrong? Why are you so happy, father? Pack my luggage. Gurney Vale answered her father excitedly. If you want to leave now, of course you have to talk to your father. Pack your bags. What are you going to do? When he heard his daughter say this, King Lydicuan hurriedly asked her. What is your daughter doing? Packing luggage? To whom? Does she want to go out by herself? What is this going to do? My own daughter? Won't she want to run away from home, right? No, this will not work. The outside world is very dangerous. Father. I want to join the Knights of the Round Table. Gunny Vale answered her father with her head upright. Question mark. King Lydicuan was even more confused. It's over. Does this daughter have any illusions? I heard people say that if you miss your lover excessively, it is indeed a mental abnormality. Wouldn't it be the same for my daughter? But this is only a few days. Not so much. How do you join the Knights of the Round Table? He looked at Nivelle with suspicion and said. Nivelle nodded vigorously. Hey, 
His Majesty Morgan asked me to join the Knights of the Round Table. She told me that only in this way can I meet Altria all day long, and then let him promise to marry me. Real? King Lydicuan looked at Gurney Vale with some suspicion. It's true. If you don't believe me, you can confront your Majesty Morgan. I heard the words of Gurney Vale. There are only three thoughts in King Lydicuan's mind. First, his daughter has not lost her heart. Second, it is more serious than getting lost in the heart. Third, Morgan, you count me. Daughter, you will be calculated by her if you go to the Knights of the Round Table like this. King Lydicuan said bitterly to Gurney Vale. Calculate. Will His Majesty Morgan prevent me from being with Altria? Upon hearing this, Gurney Vale asked nervously. No, it won't. King Lydicuan thought for a while, and felt that this was unlikely. No one can stop his subordinates from getting married. What's the calculation? What are you calculating? Of course it's me. I only have a daughter like you and not all family businesses will be given to you in the future. And you were still in the Knights of the Round Table at that time. Didn't we all become part of Camelot? King Lydicuan thought in his heart. Then, he told Gurney Vale all these worries. Hearing what he said, Gurney Vale showed a face of sudden realization. Oh, Morgan's calculation is like this. Yes, King Lydicuan smiled. Well, it's fine if my daughter knows. But, Altria was originally a die-hard Morgan of His Majesty. Since he won't betray Morgan, why should I betray? Gurney Vale said to King Lydicuan. Okay. The expression on King Lydicuan's face freezes. And at this time, Gurney Veer continued to say to King Lydicuan, Father, don't worry, I will abduct Altria and marry me as soon as possible. We will definitely do well in the Knights of the Round Table, and I will make my own deeds at that time. Dot. From your mind, I think it was you who was abducted, King Lydicuan said silently in his heart. Chapter 86 Rabbits always like to blow up. Second more, there is a saying how to say it, a big family can't hold back a prodigal son. This Gurney Vile dedicated himself to joining the Knights of the Round Table. King Lydicuan was also unable to do anything. What is it now? Go ahead. In accordance with the attitude of marrying his own daughter in his mind, King Lydicuan thought about his knights. A knight of 150 men is about the same size. Can protect the safety of his daughter. Even if it is on the battlefield, even if it is a big defeat, you can also protect her safety. Alas. My heart hurts. King Lydicuan clutched his chest and thought in his heart. Dot. So, after the next day, his eyes looked at Morgan and Lot still so bad. Morgan knew what it was because of it, and covered the lower half of his face with a fan Lot gave her, with a triumphant expression in the corner of his eyes. Lot was puzzled, so he stared back. You wanted to pry away my sister-in-law, and then you dare to look at me badly? Morgan heard Lot's heart and wanted to laugh a little. Lucky dog, come on, I am at a loss here, but you give me revenge. Seeing Lot staring at him. King Lydicuan was of course angry. His eyes widened, and he started trying to develop special effects that use his eyes to kill people. Two people are staring at such big guys. At this time, Altria walked in hastily. Okay? What's the situation? She was a little at a loss, but she knew that if she wanted to have a good meal next, she had better leave it alone. She looked at Lot and Morgan, and said, Your Majesty Lot, King Naruan is leading the soldiers again. He wants to come and fight us again. Hearing what she said, Lot and King Lyodguin looked to this side. King Lydicuan was a little worried, but this Lot turned into an excited expression at this moment, just waiting for them to come, he said to Aldria. Then he walked outside. As he walked, he said to Morgan and Aldria, Come on, distribute all the things I got back yesterday to the members of the Knights of the Round Table. Let each of them take a few. Of course, give me. Take it lightly and watch my movements later. Come, let these enemies taste that old Moses black technology. Being a big bomb. This is every rabbit's favorite thing, he said happily in his heart. Morgan looked at Lot strangely. Why is he calling himself a rabbit at this time? Does he like such compliments? Then should I praise him as a good rabbit? Morgan thought in his heart. Several people came to the castle. Lot assigned all the RG-60 terabytes temperature pressure grenades to the knights of the knights of the round table. Although the knights have a lot of problems, they are still obedient. Taking those grenades in his hand, he didn't act rashly. Lot looked and nodded slightly in his heart. This kind of grenade is the most powerful grenade in the world invented by the Red Bear. It is filled with 70 grams of cloud explosive. The explosive equivalent of 550 to 660 grams of TNT explosive. The detonation power is equivalent to 10 ordinary grenade. This is going on. It will be very exciting. And remember one more thing. The Knights of the Knights of the Round Table are the Knights of the Gods. And each of them is much stronger than the professional athletes in Lot's previous life. The throwing of this grenade is almost catching up with the throwing barrel. Looking at the army of King Ryan who is slowly gathering under the castle, Lot said to everyone, I will hear my instructions later, and then follow my actions and throw them towards the King Ryan. Yes, Altria took a grenade and said nervously, Dot. At this moment, under the castle, King Ryan looked at his soldiers, his expression still a bit satisfied. What if you beat me yesterday? What if you have several powerful knights? You were a shameless sneak attack. Have the ability to fight head on. My number, that still occupies an advantage today, I will not give you a chance to sneak attack. After escaping in embarrassment yesterday, 
He quickly merged with the defeated army. Yesterday's Altria and King Lidguin were both at the end of the battle, so they couldn't pursue the enemy too much, so many people managed to escape. In addition, some troops from the garrison were added, so King Ryan rallied another large army. Of course, those magicians did not come back. This ran away at the most dangerous time, and if this were to go back, King Ryan should would have to cut it off. But these are not important to King Ryan. He has enough people. He is ready to come back again for revenge. He is not reconciled to yesterday's failure. So I want to make a comeback. He had seen it during yesterday's battle, and Lot's number of people was smaller than his own. They are just sneak attacks. I will definitely not lose in this head-on fight. King Ryan thought in his heart. In consideration of this kind of thinking, he led the army to the bottom of King Leodguin's castle again. Squinting his eyes, he wanted to see the frightened look of the enemy. But I didn't see what he wanted to see. Instead, he just saw these people holding a pile of iron blocks. Okay, is this going to hit me with an iron block? Ryan Shiwank thought. Then, he saw these knights holding iron blocks and throwing them toward him. Does this treat yourself as a waste without force? You want to hit me with iron? Ruian Shiwank said with a dumb smile. He lightly picked up the knight's spear, and was about to pick up these iron pieces and fly them out. Then, boom, 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 a series of explosions rang out beside King Ryan. Dot. At last. King Ryan's expression was frozen on top of that smile. What's this? This was the last thought in his mind. Dot. Above the castle, Lot saw that King Ryan Shige was buried by the explosion, with a happy smile on his face. Oh, I still want to go heads up with him? Yes, it looks like it won't work anymore. He was still talking coldly. Above the castle, everyone except Lot was shocked. Even the knights who threw the grenade did not expect this thing to be so powerful. It's horrible. Lot squinted at King Lydokuan at this moment. Hey. Do you dare to come and stare at me this time? When Morgan heard Lot think this way, he couldn't help but chuckle and laugh. Such a dog is so careful. The 87th chapter, just install it, first more. A series of explosions, after that, both sides of the battlefield fell into silence. The soldiers above the castle forgot to defend, and the army of King Ryan's below the city forgot to attack. Those troops beside King Ryan, they were all stunned by Lot's grenade. What's this? Question mark. The smoke gradually dissipated. It appeared to be a flesh by the side of King Rui and Shi. This King Ryan who had come to seek revenge from Lot. There was no dialogue with Lot, so he was solved by a grenade. I'm so old and miserable. No one responded. Lot was already prepared at this time, so even after seeing this heart shock, he quickly recovered. A smile was put on his face immediately, and then he said to the knights of the round table and King Ludguin's men, what are you waiting for? The leader on the opposite side is dead, and you still can't win the pursuit. Hearing Lot's words like this. The crowd was awakened like a dream, and hurried out of the city to pursue the army of King Ryan. King Narian was killed in the battle, and of course his men had no intention of fighting. Faced with the chase of the allied forces of Lot and Leodkuan, they could only describe it as a rout. This is really impossible to fight. King Lydokuan came back to his senses at this time. He pointed to the situation on the ground. His mouth could not be closed and he asked Lot, What? What is this? Kill the chicken and curse the monkey. This chicken is killed, then it's time to curse the monkey. Lot thought in his heart. Morgan heard him think so, and immediately looked at him expectantly. Hey, dog, it's time to watch your performance. This is our secret weapon, he said to King Lyodkuan. King Lyodkuan took a step forward and asked Lot, secret weapon? Is this kind of weapon difficult to make? Difficulty? I don't know how to make it at all. These things are a one-time use. After this time, they are gone. Lot thought this way, and deliberately said in a helpless tone. The difficulty of manufacturing is really not low. The difficulty of production is not low, that does not mean that it cannot be done. In order to support him this time, Lot was able to draw out so many such weapons. And if he becomes an enemy to himself in the future, will he also take out as many such weapons? King Lydokuan was indeed shocked. He couldn't help taking a step back. He also saw the power of this weapon. Hit the human body and it will fry people into mash. And even if it is attacking the castle, the effect is very strong. If Lot broke the wall, he could let his knight commander drive straight in. In the street fighting in this kind of castle, the powerful knights of Lot's single-handed man can be said to occupy an absolute advantage. Almost no one has beaten him. When are nuclear weapons most powerful? Answer, when in the silo. The weapons Lot pulled out were similar to nuclear weapons in this era. Fortunately I was with him. King Lydokuan rejoiced in his heart. If it were against him, then it would be himself who had no corpse. At this time, he wouldn't be complaining about his daughter's prodigal family. Then follow Lot, let alone other. The possibility of victory in the war is very high. Perhaps in the future, my daughter and son-in-law can become a much stronger king than me. King Lydokuan comforted himself in his heart. But he didn't know that the son-in-law he had booked in his heart was actually a beautiful girl. At this time, the soldiers who came out to chase returned. They won a big victory this time. In King Lydokuan's castle, not all his people, merchants from other kingdoms would also come here to do business. The power of Lot's weapons will continue to spread to other kingdoms. I believe that no one would want to welcome this weapon. Morgan saw this with a smug expression on his face. Then, 
she continued to say to King Lyodguin in a threatening tone. This weapon is only one of the weaker weapons we have hidden. If we take out all the weapons, it will surprise everyone. As long as we do, there will be no one who can't die. However, after speaking, she didn't get what she should take a breath. On the contrary, all our dull lot is the same. Okay, what's going on here? Did I say something wrong? Morgan thought in his heart. And at this moment, she heard Lot's heartfelt voice. This is Scotland, the land where the legend of Ulster spreads. And here, there is a person who wants to die. That... But Morgan can't defeat the existence before he becomes the lord of the island. Hope the queen just thought that Morgan was just talking casually, don't take it seriously. Dot. Morgan was speechless, because she also remembered. In this land, it is really impossible to say that there are weapons that can kill everything. Ma yeah, overblown. Morgan thought quizzically. Dot. While she was thinking like this, Galahad and Aldria were back. He was covered in blood, but it was all enemies. Galahad, fulfill the mission. Aldria successfully completed her mission. Aldria spoke loudly to Lot and Morgan. Next, it is time to look forward to the reward given to me by His Majesty Lot and Morgan. What will be delicious this time? Aldria's saliva almost came out. And at this moment, that Gurney Fear came out, while walking, still holding a handkerchief. Are you hurt? I'll bandage you. Gurney Fear came over and said to Aldria, I am okay. Seeing Gurney Vale about to come and touch her chest, Aldria took two steps back quickly. What's wrong? I'm the concern of my comrades in arms. Is there any problem? Seeing him retreating, Gurney Vale spoke to him. Comrades in arms? Aldria looked at Gurney Vale suspiciously. At this moment, Morgan said, Well, Gurney Vale has also joined the Knights of the Round Table as a female knight. So, you are now comrades in arms. Now that the 150 knights have not been deceived, it is still necessary to take care of Gurney Vale. What? Aldria opened her mouth in surprise. When Galahad heard this, he nodded silently in his heart. Then, after deciding to go back, he would add a few more fences to his father's cage. He must not be allowed to hook up with Gurney Vale. Dot. At this moment, Lancelot, who was still in the cage, couldn't help but shiver. He felt that the malice of the world had deepened on him. Chapter 88 The purple-haired old lady ready to kill, second more. Seeing Gurney Vale who was about to wipe her chest again, Altria hurriedly backed away nervously again. She is a girl, although it's a little so small, if you put your hand on her chest, of course it can be noticed. Ahem, let's go back quickly. Morgan saw this scene and quickly said to Gurney Vale. Okay. Gurney Vale looked at Altria, knowing that she was really rushing, so she reluctantly put down the handkerchief in her hand, and then let Altria leave, reluctant to give up in the eyes. King Lydicuan looked at his daughter's actions, feeling helpless in his heart. My own cabbage is going to be eaten by pigs. Of course, if he knew that his own cabbage was actually not eaten by pigs, but by the same cabbage, I believe his expression would be very exciting. Dot. After winning the battle, it is natural to hold a celebration ceremony. But this time it was no longer for King Lydicuan to prepare the food. Lot was not used to eating, and Morgan, Aldria, and Galahad, who had been spoiled by the chefs brought by Lot, were not used to it either. Even if it is a good boy like Xiojia, there will be no complaints even if he eats some local British food. But who can have a delicious meal, that is also very good. Speak to King Lydicuan, and let him taste Orkney's technique this time. There are a lot of ingredients here and the chef from Orkney prepared a large table. Because there are so many people eating, there is also an altria, so only simple cooking methods are used. Grilled meat made with cumin and chili. These two spices are only in the hands of Lot in this era of Britain. There are other easy-to-cook ingredients. But even so, that's what caused King Lydicuan and Niva to eat because they wanted to swallow their tongues. After all, the Chinese cuisine used by Lot came from more than 1,500 years later and has been continuously improved. Compared with the British food today, it can be said to be a dimensionality reduction blow. This food is really delicious. It's no wonder that Altria didn't want to quit to my side. At this moment, both King Lydicuan and Gurnival had some understanding of Altria's thoughts. Human beings have a deep pursuit of beautiful things. Compared with this food, Gurney very instantly felt that the food she had eaten before was like eating dirt. Father, now do you think I have a problem with the Knights of the Round Table? Gurney Vale raised an elbow to her father and said to him with a smile. King Lydicuan didn't want to say anything. Moreover, his attention at the moment is still focused on Altria who is eating. His face was a little scared. Or, oh, daughter, let's change our personal preference. He said to Gurney Verd who was on the side. It's not that I said I don't want my daughter to pursue happiness. But this guy eats too much. Just what King Lydicuan saw. This Altria ate at least a dozen people. And just this, she still looked unsatisfied. Obviously she hadn't eaten enough yet. If this is to allow him to marry his daughter, then I am afraid that his family is not enough for her. It's okay, you have to rest assured, we will work hard and never starve to death. Gurney Vale looked at Altria's appetite, fell silent for a while, and then answered his father. Hey, don't tremble in your tone. King Laodicuan looked at his daughter and complained silently. Dot. Gurney Vale saw a side with a guilty conscience. Sometimes, even if there is love again, it would be embarrassing to lie. Dot. 
What are the days of yesterday? Although Morgan's appetite is much different from that of his sister, his food looks the same. She picked her teeth contentedly. Indeed. In the future, you will have to take the cook if you don't bring anything to fight. Beside her, Lot also nodded in approval. Morgan ate the food and said to Lot, Now we have eliminated King Ryan, and our battle in Scotland is almost over. Next, we should consider our influence in Scotland. Keep it up. Okay. Lot nodded slightly. Scotland's territory is definitely not small anymore. And now Lot and Morgan still have to face the threat of the humble King Vortigung. Moreover, if they come to attack, it is hard to guarantee that the countries of Scotland will unite against them. In that case, Camelot's army might not be able to seek benefits. So, Lot, come and think of a solution. Morgan wanted to be lazy, so he planned all these things on Lot. Although I can think of a good way to do it after a little thought. However, my purpose is to cultivate the enthusiasm of the dog, isn't it? She even found an excuse for her idea in her heart. Hey. You are too lazy. Lot listened to Morgan's words and couldn't help but complain to her. Can't it? With his hands resting on his cheeks, Morgan said to Lot winkingly. At the same time, she took her feet out of her shoes, looked around and no one noticed them. Then she straightened her toes and put them on Lot's calf. The slender soles rubbed against Lot's leg. His eyes were full of teasing. Stop using this method for me. Lot said irritably. Damn, tease to tease, and there is no way to move the real chapter. Okay, I promise you, I will find a way when I go back. Okay, he said to Morgan. Well. Good. Morgan put his foot back with a smile, and then said to Lot, Sure enough, is to use astringent things to seduce. Dot. And just as these people were celebrating, at this moment, on a battlefield outside, there was a woman standing. He is tall, with long purple hair, dressed in tights, and holding a bright red spear in his hand. The woman looks beautiful, full of mature imperial sister temperament. It's definitely not what the old woman said. Walking on the battlefield, she carefully looked at the blood stains on the ground, touched it lightly with his hand. Then he sniffed with his nose. These want to kill me, it's still impossible. She muttered to herself like this. Immediately, an expression of interest appeared on her face again. However, these are really interesting enough. She was determined to meet the woman who was crazy talk. See how much she still has. Chapter 89 Just ask the questions, what do you do with your gun? Question mark third more. Good fellow, this woman is here too. She is a terrifying woman and I am not her opponent. Standing in the corner of the celebration banquet, the old white-haired liar, Mlin, who was concentrating on molesting the maid, glanced out of the city, and then quickly retracted his gaze. Can't afford to offend. That woman still can't afford it. As long as she doesn't kill anyone, she still pretends she doesn't know anything. Merlin thought in her heart. Then, with a smile on his face, he grabbed the hand of the maid next to him and said, Did you know? In Camelot, there is a way to see the fate of people which is to see the fate of people by looking at their palms. Dot come, let me see. Dot. After everyone had finished their meal, they went to rest if they should rest. Gurney Weil wanted to say a few more words to Altria, but this Altria had already slipped away, making Gurney Weil out of nowhere. But Morgan and Lot didn't rest, but came to a place where there was no one in the castle. Discussing things in the guest room, it will allow others to steal the roots of the wall. Who knows what installations are in the guest room. Outside, Morgan believed that with his own magic, no one could overhear the conversation between himself and the dog. Well, Luke, how do you think we should maintain control of Scotland? Morgan said to Lot in a questioning tone. Lot showed a thoughtful expression. Well, I can only choose to play shamelessly. Well, I like the shameless play. Do more. I am looking forward to this. I heard what Lot was thinking. Morgan said in his heart. Her current bottom line of ethics. It was almost unpredictable to have the appetite with his sister. Now I heard Lot talk about shameless play. This Morgan is looking forward to. Morgan, we have to design our own position. Before completely defeating Votaging, we have to be in a detached position with regard to Scotland. Lot stretched out his finger and said to Morgan. Tell me more concretely. Morgan said to Lot angrily. We shouldn't get involved in specific things, but we want to be a shit-chucking stick. Hey, you are so dirty. Morgan showed a look of disgust. You want me to say it? Lot said to Morgan with his hands. Then, he continued to explain his approach to Morgan. To put it simply, it is the glorious isolation policy used by Britain in later generations. Lot's greatest strength from later generations is not his artifacts, but his various thoughts accumulated for thousands of years. This kind of thinking allowed him to find corresponding solutions when facing various problems he encountered. Lot also served as the master of the knowledge zone in the video sites of his previous life, and the techniques he used to force him can be said to be one set after another. All kinds of messy knowledge, it can be said to be easy to come by. Facing the situation in Scotland at this moment, Lot felt that the British policy towards the European continent in later generations was quite suitable here. Camelot is temporarily not suitable for directly occupying Scottish land. Then, naturally, we must find a way to mess up Scotland and fail to form a unified force. In his back, he instigated the Scottish to come and fight against the boss, 
causing the two sides to become warring and civil chaos, and he still has the threat of that new weapon on his side. If the second child really can't beat the boss, you can still use these to pull sideways. They don't know that they are actually out of stock anyway. In short, when the time comes, Scotland will be messed up, and after Camelot has solved the underdog, and unified England and Wales, Camelot's strength will irresistibly occupy the entire Scotland. The most obvious point of this method is that even if someone can see it, there is no way. There is absolutely no way to resolve the feuds brought about by the fighting between various countries in Scotland. With a little use, you can make the two sides fight. The only thing that makes Lot feel a little regretful, that is, Camelot's steel output is really not going up. If this steel output can go up, then you can sell weapons to them. If you instigate them to fight, they have to say thank you. Well, it's me as expected. Lot thought very happily after talking about his plan with Morgan. Seeing Lot so narcissistic, Morgan didn't know what to say. This shameless look really looks like a husband and wife with me, Morgan said in his heart. The two looked at each other, and both showed a tacit smile. And just when Lot wanted to talk to Morgan again, there was a round of applause. Very powerful. This idea is really vicious and effective. A woman's voice rang in the ears of Lot and Morgan. Morgan and Lot were surprised at the same time, especially Morgan. Didn't I already use magic? She muttered to herself. Indeed, you use magic tricks very well. It's just that my rune is even better. The purple-haired woman slowly walked out of the shadows. The posture is extremely elegant. Even a noble lady who has been immersed in court etiquette for decades cannot achieve such grace. But, the bright red spear in her hand means that she is not an aristocratic woman without the strength of a chicken. Seeing this beautiful face, Morgan was puzzled, and Lot couldn't help taking a breath. This woman's looks. He has not seen less in his previous lives. No matter its games, fan comics, fan animations, fan games, and fankers, I haven't seen it really. But her current temperament was something he couldn't feel in his previous life. An extreme pressure came to Lot. It's over, it's over, there is a who raises its head three feet, and there are some things that shouldn't be said nonsense. During the day, Morgan just said a little bit, this old lady with purple hair dot 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 the beautiful girl came up. What about this? She can kill even the gods. As long as Morgan and I add up, they won't be her opponents. If it doesn't work, I'll take the responsibility. Morgan now knew the identity of the woman, the queen of the kingdom of shadows, Skyha. Now, her face became pale too. He is not her opponent. At least, now he is not her opponent. Lot stretched out his hand to block Morgan behind him. Then he looked at Skyha and said, Queen of the kingdom of shadows. Is there anything you came to see for us? It's nothing. It's just what you said during the day. I am very interested. I don't know whether it is true or not. I hope you can answer me, Skaha said with a smile. And looking at her smile, Lot and Morgan were thinking about one thing at the same time in their hearts. Just asked the question, what does it mean to raise the gun? Question mark. Chapter 90 Skaha, be my sister. 4K, that, your majesty Skaha, we are all civilized people. What we pay attention to is not fighting and killing but humanity. Seeing this Skaha raised his gun, Lot said quickly, if ordinary people dared to shoot out a gun at Morgan like this, Lot would not bear it. I already swung my sword over to you, but, this is Skaha. That is the woman who killed the gods, who is not afraid to meet. If Lot's combat effectiveness is one, Skaha in front of him is definitely above five and martial arts, not counting others yet. If she counts her other magic tricks, runes and the like, the gap is even greater. Lot is far from Skaha's opponent, with Morgan next to it. That doesn't work either. Morgan may be able to become the Lord of Britain, but it is definitely not possible now. Therefore, what Lot said to Skaha was to make everyone consider peace. Is it? I don't understand about human relationships and sophistication. Skaha said with a smile. Then, swinging a gun, he attacked Lot and Morgan. Seeing this Scarlet Spear stab at himself and Morgan, even if he knew that he was definitely not her opponent, in order to protect Morgan, he rushed up with the sword. Hang Jian Block then only saw the flash of the spear. The bright red tip of the spear reached Lot's throat. Give you another chance to react. Skaha drew the spear back, then said to Lot. Then, she attacked again. Lot didn't have time to think about it, watching the direction where the spear swept across and slashed. This time, the spear collided with the sword. But Lot felt a pain from his tiger's mouth, and he almost dropped the long sword out of his palm. No, your martial arts is so bad, you don't even count as a real fighter. Skaha put the spear back then shook his head and commented to Lot. Even if you are a real warrior, you can't fight against you. Old, right, listening to Lot's heart, Morgan had a desire to laugh. This woman's fear of dog is too great, even if she thinks in her heart, she doesn't dare to make more complaints. But just after a moment of laughter, she turned to look at Skaha, showing a hostile expression. This woman dared to show off like this. I definitely did not spare you. Even if he knew that he could not beat Skaha, Morgan would not hide behind Lot. Just about to fight back, Skaha waved his hand and said to Morgan, Okay, you don't want to join the fight. You are like this. If I really fight with you, it will be easy. It hurt the child in your stomach. Skaha then looked at Lot. Come on, 
continue to pick up the long sword, I care about things during the day, if you can't show the ability to prove, I won't forgive you so easily, TSK, Lot gritted his teeth and picked up the sword, at this time, he would not argue that Morgan actually said this, not himself, what your wife said, and the problems caused by it, you must bear it yourself, but after this incident, when I return to the bedroom, I must slap Morgan's fiercely, Lot thought in his heart while holding the long sword, at this time, you still have the mood to think about it, Morgan was a little dumbfounded, immediately, she looked at Lot who was fighting, or being beaten unilaterally, very anxious in her heart, must figure out a way, fleeing, that would definitely not work, not to mention that Lot has his own drag, even if he didn't, he would never escape in Skaha's hands, then go to the rescuer, question mark, Morgan thought, the two of them are not Skaha's opponents, however, if you call Galahad, Aldria, and even the old liar Merlin, then you will not have a chance to deal with the Queen of the Kingdom of Shadows together. Thinking of this in his mind, Morgan realized that this was impossible. His surroundings were already blocked by Skaha's rune of rune. Want to ask for help? That is simply impossible. And while she was thinking this way, Lot and Skaha fought twice. The first time the sword in his hand was knocked to the ground before it even touched the spear. When it came to the second time, the situation was a little better than the first time. Lot insisted on two moves in Skaha's hands, and then the long sword was swung open, and the long spear was heavily hit on the shoulder. After being knocked down twice in this way, Lot inevitably felt a little discouraged. What is this going to do? Even if you are going to kill me, will you give me a happy one? Keep playing like this, you treat me as a sandbag. I can warn you, Skaha, in this world, there has never been a sandbag as handsome as me. I'm really angry if you do this. Don't you just want to die? I admit that I don't have this ability now, okay? But in the future, you wait until when I get a weapon that can defeat you. Do you see me like this? Thinking like this in his mind, he continued to pick up the long sword. But behind, Morgan heard Lot's heart beat and his eyes lit up, yes, laughter is right, it's impossible for the old lady Skaha to come to trouble me and sex Scusi, just because of what I said during the day, no, this is really not the same thing, even in this piece of land in Scotland, probably not few people have said it, just like in England, I have occasionally heard people insulting God, if this happens every time, Skaha will not do anything else, and according to the rumors, the queen of this shadow country is not so careful, so, she came here, it is because we may really be able to meet her request, okay, it must be so, thinking like this, in her heart, Morgan looked at Skaha who was about to attack Lot again, and she said loudly, stop it, if you do it again, you won't be able to achieve your wish, hearing this, Skaha put down his attack, and then looked at Morgan with interest, as for Lot, it is even more impossible for him to play Skaha without asking himself, you said, do you know my wish and can achieve it, Skaha spoke to Morgan, speaking of which, she herself came here for this matter, only after seeing that although this man has good roots, but wasted his talents, she couldn't help but educate him. This can be regarded as a joy to see the hunt. Lot's aptitude was actually better than he expected. You must know that the qualifications of Gawain and others are all inherited from him. He just didn't have a good teacher to teach, and he didn't have a commendable weapon in his hand, and because of his inaction in history, he subconsciously believed that he was inferior to other people. Therefore, the aptitude cannot be fully utilized. Skaha gave some education, but now that Morgan was talking about business, Skaha had no choice but to put it aside. Yes, I know your wish. Morgan looked at Skaha and paced forward slowly. Looking at her burgundy eyes, Morgan felt under tremendous pressure. But she still endured it. What happened to the Queen of the Mere Kingdom of Shadows? I am going to be the Queen of Britain in the future. She must be much stronger than her, according to C. Guzzi's words. The next step is to stud. If we win, we will be a model. If we lose, we will be a model. But I don't know what occupation this young model is. Morgan tried to adjust his mentality and calm him down. Do you want to die? As soon as she spoke, Lot who was on the side thought that Morgan had traveled back from Xuan. But it was a curse in other people's ears, but in Skaha's ears, it was what was on her mind. Yes, I didn't hide this. Skaha nodded, acknowledging Morgan's words. Then, if you do it with my husband again, I promise you will never achieve this situation. Morgan continued. Oh? Skaha's eyes lit up. Lot stared at Morgan with his eyes widened. What is Morgan going to do? Does she want to say that when she becomes the master of Britain, she will have the strength to defeat Skaha? Indeed. If we say that, Skaha will indeed let us go. There is only one left of her wish now. If you can make her achieve this goal, she can really give a lot. However, it is not so easy to become the Lord of Britain. Okay, thank you, Luke. If you don't say it, I don't know that I have such a powerful force. Also, can Skaha pay a lot? Okay, I got it. Now Lot and I are still in the initial stage. In the future, we still have unlimited growth possibilities. If you do what to us now, I can't guarantee that you will achieve what you expect. Morgan said to Skaha loudly. Go on. Hearing Morgan's words like this, Skaha's expression became interested. This, was originally what she wanted. Regarding Morgan's qualifications, she can tell one or two things clearly. If Morgan really became the lord of the island, his strength would be much stronger, 
and maybe he could really kill himself. There is Locke beside him. He has a mystery that he can't see through. Even in him, Skaha has a kind of time quality. His martial arts aptitude is good, and his mystery also made him look forward to the future. If I become the Lord of Britain, I can naturally kill you. At this time, Morgan came to Skaha. My Majesty Queen of the Kingdom of Shadows, how about I come to make a bet with you? What bet? I'm here to make an agreement with you that you will let us go this time and will help us unify Scotland in the future. When I become the Master of Britain in the future, Lot and I will help you complete your wish together. How about? Morgan spoke to Skaha. Good guy. Morgan, you are going to scam Skaha for nothing. Real thief. I can only say that I really deserve to be my wife. Lot thought silently. My wife. This shameless look is really... Okay. Skaha smiled and nodded. Of course she knew what Morgan was thinking. But for her, it doesn't matter as long as she can fulfill her wish. And as long as Morgan becomes the Lord of Britain, I don't worry that she won't fulfill her hope. Anyway, when the time comes to provoke her all day long, if she really has the strength to kill herself, she will naturally not stop. As for the need to wait for her to become the Lord of Britain, Naska didn't feel that this was a thing at all. I have waited for thousands of years, so it's not a big deal to wait another 10 or 20 years. As for Morgan, if he really became the Lord of Britain, he couldn't kill himself. Naskaha also said it didn't matter. This was originally an attempt. I just feel hopeful. Disappointment does not matter. Skaha looked at Morgan and continued, Then tell me, how can I help you rule Scotland? I can't. You attack every castle. I will help you fight, right? Just waiting for your words. Morgan heard Skaha say this, and said quickly, Of course it doesn't have to be so troublesome. Then what should I do? Well, come and be my sister. In the Far East, there is a custom called worship. Several people swear to be half-brothers and sisters, or... Your Majesty Skaha, let's come and worship, Morgan said to Skaha. Regarding the custom of worshipping, Morgan still heard Lot say. This time, it happened to be used. Interesting proposal. Skaha thought for a moment, then smiled. So, you agreed? Morgan hurriedly asked Skaha. At the same time, in her heart, she was very lucky. One, this time I won. See Guzi and I can be tender in the club. Be sure to ask See Guzi later. What does this club young model mean? Of course, Skaha agreed to Morgan's proposal. Ma, this is fine too. Lot who was on the side, was shocked to see Morgan's operation. This operation is absolutely impossible. Dot. Because the gods were slaughtered by Skaha a lot, Morgan and Skaha's worship ceremony just passed hastily. After finishing these, Skaha also removed the rune of rune. Morgan and Lot are safe. After being safe, Morgan looked at Skaha and continued, Sister Skaha, I wonder if you have tasted our Orkney food? Come. I'll invite you to try these. After finally getting involved with the Queen of the Kingdom of Shadows, how could Morgan let it go so easily? 